In this short video, I'm going to show how to do basic sculpture work in Maya. So I'm going to start by choosing, um, I'll make a block of, you know, like digital clay, I guess you can call it. So I'm just going to take this um, tool right here and just make a block. And so I won't be able to do any sculpture work on this because it needs subdivisions. It needs to have intersecting lines creating vertices so that I can change this face. Right now, this face only has four corners to it. I need a whole bunch of points that I can move around. So I'm going to go into the um, attribute editor and click on the polycube that I've just made. And here's subdivisions width. I can crank that up if I want. And I can also change the height subdivisions. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to leave that alone. Um, I don't really need a bunch there because on this particular one, I'm going to just sculpt straight up. So now I've got subdivisions, uh, 50 width, 50 depth, and that's creating all of these lines that I can now sculpt. So now I'm going to go into mesh tools. And here's the sculpting tools down here. And there's a whole bunch of tools, sculpt, smooth, relax, um, different things. And you can play with each one of those. But the main one really is just that sculpt tool. And the best thing to do is don't just hit the tool. Actually open up the, um, the tool editor right here, a little box, so that you get the tool settings. Because you'll be playing with this all the time. You'll have to change the size of your brush, the strength of the effect of the brush, things like this. So you want to just have this open so you can constantly play with this. So here's my brush size right here. And I'm actually holding my B key right now as a quick key, B for brush. Um, and then I can use my left mouse to change my brush size. But you'll notice that it just changes the slider right here too. So either way, you can do it either, either way. Um, go back there. And so holding down my B again, uh, I like to hold down the B uh, just because holding down the B for brush, I, I'm going to be probably changing brush size a lot. And to me, that's kind of a fast way of doing it. Um, and then you're going to set your strength. If it's too strong, things are going to go really fast and you don't want that. Um, and if it's too weak, it hardly has any effect at all. So let's say I'm going to do some sculpting here and that's actually still pretty strong. You really got to get way back here to do your sculpting. So I'm going to do some sculpture work right now. And you'll see it, things will start to wrinkle pretty fast right here. And so if you hit your shift key, you can smooth it out and kind of bring everything back in line again. And also, if you hold your control key, it's everything you do is the opposite. So instead of pulling out, you will push in. So control will be opposite. Pull out, push in. And you see how it's getting all kind of wrinkled again in there. I'm going to hit my smooth, my shift, to smooth that out. And I'll keep pulling this up. And you'll start to notice that if, when you really start to deform the block of our digital clay, so to speak, we're going to start to stretch out these faces. And once you stretch out these faces, you can tell that you really can't get a nice smooth sculpt anymore, it becomes these hard lines because we don't have the vertices, we don't have the subdivisions to um, continue to mold that because they've been stretched out from these little tiny squares down here into these really big squares. So luckily you can choose all these stretched out ones and make more subdivisions. So I'm going to um, I'm going to exit out of the sculpt for the moment and I'm just going to right click and I'm going to go into face mode and select all these faces that got all stretched out right here, all of those. And a couple ways to give them more subdivisions. I could say mesh smooth is one fast way. And that doubled the subdivisions and also smoothed it out. That's pretty good. Um, another way you can do it if you want, is you can choose like an individual face or a few faces. 
let's say you want to do some fine detail work just on these faces right here. I could hit Mesh Smooth. Um, but another way of doing it is you can say Edit Mesh, Add Divisions. And you should probably open up the, the Settings box as well and tell it, well, how many divisions. I usually go to Linear. I go to Add Divisions Linearly. And then I'll say, okay, how many divisions in the one direction and how many div uh, divisions in the other. U and V is like X, X and Y on a graph. So let's say I, I'm going to say 10 by 10 faces. So in other words, these, for every face, every face will become 10 faces. So I'll hit add divisions and see now I've got 10 faces in there. And it's just for those, you know, just right in there. And so I can do really fine sculpture work um, just there if I need to do that. Let's say I'm going to put like, I don't know, a face in there or something like that. And then I'm going to go back to my um, mesh tools sculpting tool and leave that tool settings windows open. Looks like my brush is way too big. So I'll hold my B key again and shrink, oh, and shrink the brush just yet. There it goes. Got to hold the B key down first and then do the shrink with the uh, left mouse. If you Sometimes if you work too fast, it won't respond right. And the strength is way too much again. So I think I'm going to put one for strength and then there it goes. Okay, so that's about it. Quick sculpting in Maya.